What's going on guys, it's Justin here from Summit Racing and we have Trey from Race Tech Pistons and we're gonna be doing some Pistons frequently asked questions. So the first question I wanna ask you is when do you need to make the move from a cast piston into like a more racy forged piston? So good question. Um, you know, cast pistons are basically largely the material used for OE pistons. And as everybody has probably had some experience with, you can make more horsepower on an OE engine than it comes with. But at a certain point, there's some strength dif differences. And so the simple answers are cast, a, a cast piston is uh, a little bit harder typically and it is not as flexible and not as strong as a forging. So the forging will take on more abuse. Uh, abuse would be like detonation, okay? Every, you know, anybody who's done a performance engine has flirted with some detonation, and detonation is a piston killer. And on a cast piston, they just don't have the strength or the malleability to deal with those kinds of uh, cylinder pressures that you see from a detonation type scenario. Now, you can detonate and kill a forged piston as well, but the forged piston is a stronger piston. So depending on your goals and where you're going, there are a number of strength reasons. Then the other piece is typically a forged piston is a race-oriented piston, and so it's had a number of attention being put to weight and uh, putting material in areas that are known stress areas. So it has been designed more for the application. Let's say a circle track guy versus a power adder drag race guy. Different kinds of concerns in terms of strength. Well, and that's that's kind of a great subject to touch on is, you know, the piston that a guy who has a power adder, a boosted nitrous, whatever application is not going to be running the same kind of piston that someone, you know, like a circle track motor where it's naturally aspirated, but it turns 9000 RPM. So it's kind of different strokes for different folks, essentially. It, exactly. You know, I mean, that circle track guy, yeah, he's not making the same horsepower as the drag race guy, but he's got to do it for a lot of laps, yep. you know, or in you know, a NASCAR situation, 500 miles. So that is a different concern. Longevity is big for that customer uh, or that racer. So if you guys are looking for pistons, head over to summitracing.com and see the full line of Racetech pistons. And they probably have a piston for your application. If you're not sure exactly what you need, make sure to call into that customer service line and those folks over there will be able to get you squared away. So until next time, guys, I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks again for joining us, Trey, and we'll see you guys later.